What is going on guys? Today's video we have a USB-C hub for a MacBook. So you can easily get this on Amazon. I'll throw a link in the description if you decide to purchase. We do have USB-C, it's a hub, card reader, card reader, and SSD. So we're gonna go and check this one out. Looks like very simple packaging. Not too sure on the price on this, but we will throw a link in the description. So it's by Lemore. You have two USB, so it'll take up both ports, but that's because it needs to power all these. You do have a second, you do have another USB-C port, so don't worry about that. Basically one would be for a little bit more power and one for more support, more stability, but you do have an access port here for charging. And then you have a, I believe an LED indicator. You have three USB 3.0 ports, an SD card and a TF card. And then you also have an HDMI cable right there as well. So this is perfect for the MacBook Airs because they don't have any USB-A ports, obviously. You do have a SD card and then you have an extra power or maybe data transfer as well and then you do have your HDMI which doesn't have any of that on the MacBook Air it has very limited ports I know the MacBook Air also has a maybe an audio jack that's probably it but you know nothing really on that device we do have a MacBook Air the M1 so we're gonna go and test this out the ports here this is a test for the HDMI and it does work flawlessly with the display so it's really cool it supports up to 4k basically and it'll easily go seamlessly with that. So it's really good on that. And this also, like I said, works on the MacBook Pro, MacBook Air, any MacBook that you have, it'll practically work with them all. It does have an LED indicator. So if you plug it in or just have it charged, whatever, it'll have a LED indicator. It does work with wireless mouse. So I have a dongle in there and it does work completely normal, like a normal mouse. It doesn't have any latency at all. And uh, it just works really good. So it's really cool. And I plugged in three other devices there and I plugged in an SD card and it all popped up and it all worked. It does get a little warm after time, but it does work really well. And I think it's a really good purchase for it being very budget friendly. So that's that. And I'll see you guys in the next one.